found out that you bad for me. I found out, found out that you had some more. Hey guys, it's Cam. Hey. Um, hey guys, it's Cam, and let me get closer, up close in person. So it took a while for me to get this video up. The last video I recorded was completely out of focus, and then when I came back, I had too much stuff to do to re-record it. So now, I'm not going to waste any more time. Let's get started. Um, this video is on corn rolling, and I recommend that you start on stretch dry detangled hair or damp detangled hair. But yeah, so let's get started. I'm also going to put times here and in the description for like parts of the episode if you need to go back and forth. So yeah, it's here. And also check the description for links to other tutorials on how to corn roll that I found helpful. This is how I corn roll. This isn't, I'm not saying this is the traditional method. I don't even know what it is. This is just how I do it. Oh, also, also, I want to let you guys know when I finish, I'm gonna have a headband on because my hairs in the front are like really short and I don't want it to distract anybody, especially when I'm trying to teach a method. It may get in the way. I don't want to distract anybody, so that's, yeah. So yeah, let's get started for real this time. So starting off, let me just say I don't want to confuse anybody. So if my talking is confusing you, just cut me off altogether. So we're gonna start with the small section in the front, and we'll split that into three sections. We're just working on hand positioning and the motions right now. So you want your palms facing down and your knuckles facing forward at all times. And when you reach for hair, you go underneath the middle and pinch that section. It's really important to pay close attention to the motion. You can see that my pointer finger is hooking the section and my thumb is picking up hair, but I'll go more in detail later in the video. So now we're going to work on the actual braid technique. We're not going to pick up any hair, just get the braiding pattern down pat. So we're again going to split into three sections and we're going to use the hand motions and hand positioning that we just used. So like I said, we're going underneath the middle section to reach for a different section. So underneath and pulling that section to the middle. And then we're going to go underneath and pull the other section to the middle. You can also think as going behind the middle section. So you're always going behind the middle section and pulling to the middle. Behind, pulling to the middle. Behind, and pulling to the middle. And remember that you're alternating sides each time you do a pass. After I hook with my pointer finger, I'm closing my thumb and my pointer finger together. This is a closer view. Um, I'm like pinching it. I'm like pinching it and then pulling it to the middle. Pinching, pull to the middle. Go behind, pinch, pull to the middle. Okay. You take as long as you need to get the hand positioning, the hand motions, and the braiding technique down. Once you have that down, we can move on to picking up hair. So when I pick up hair, I pick up the hair with my thumb. And then I pull that section along with the hair that I just picked up to the middle. And that's probably confusing. This is the most confusing part about cornrowing. I promise you that. But I'll show you a better angle soon. So on this 
this side, you can see I'm sliding my thumb underneath the hair that I want to pick up. And then I'm pulling that section that I reached for and the hair that I just picked up towards the middle. And I'm just gonna keep doing that. That's cornrowing basically. Once you master that, you can do a cornrow. But it's really important to remember that you're picking up hair from the side of the section. So, so let me pause. And rewind a little bit to that good angle. So if I'm reaching for the right section, I'm picking up hair from the right side. I'm not picking up the entire row and I'm not picking up hair from the left side. I'm only picking up hair from the right side. And I'm only picking up a little bit of hair. Okay, so hopefully you got that down and now we're gonna start with the real deal. Okay, so we're gonna take a section in the front, a horizontal section in the front, and we're going to split that into three different sections, just like we've been doing. We're going to do our basic braiding technique one time. After I do it twice, I like to start picking up hair, but you can do it a full three times. I promise it doesn't make a difference. It may actually look cleaner if you do it three times. I just wanted to remind you guys what's happening behind the scenes. When I reach for a section, I'm picking up hair with my thumb. So just remember that. If you can't see it, just remember that. Okay, so now we're going to get started with the real deal. I'm going to reach for a section and pick up here, bring it to the middle. I'm going to reach for a section, pick up here, and bring it to the middle. And you can see if I stop a lot throughout this video, it's because my arms were getting tired or I'm sectioning off hair. So I'm reaching for a section, picking up hair and bringing it to the middle. I'm just going to keep doing that until there's no more hair to pick up. And you can start to see the cornrow form. And now I'm just going to start a timer so you guys know how long it took me to do this one cornrow. I didn't even cornrow all the way back, but you'll see how long it took me. Once there's no more hair to add, you're just going to underhand braid all the way down. And this is the final product. I'm going to show you guys a snap video that I took. If you're not following on Snapchat, make sure you follow me. And also, here's the time. So now I'm going to say some tips. Um, but first, I'm going to put a hat on because I look like Bow Wow, Romeo, just Jordan, everybody from the 2000s. 
Okay, so first tip is remember your hand positioning. Your hands are supposed to be facing down, knuckles forward the entire time. Second tip, if you want it to be neater, start off with a smaller section in the front. So your first three sections, that row needs to be small. And then grip at the base instead of like in the middle of your hair, grip it at the base so you get all your flyaways. The next one, add little sections of hair to each section. When you bring a section to the middle, that's when you're adding hair. Make sure you add a little bit of hair. Um, and here's a tip. I'm going to put a video here and explain in the video of what to do if you forget which section you're supposed to be getting. Okay, so guys, if you forget, let's just pretend like... Okay, not pretend because I'm about to do it. But if you reach for a section and you untwist it and there's a gap in between those two sections that means you need to reach for the other side like you see there's a gap reach for the other side but if you reach and you untwist it and there isn't a gap that means you need to go for the side that you thought you needed to go for so yeah i hope that makes sense i hope that helps if you keep watching it i think you'll get it um and make sure that you keep trying this is really hard I never got it on the first time. Um, I actually forgot a couple times how to do it, so I, I've relearned this a lot of times. So yeah, just keep trying. And I will also be putting links to other people's tutorials because sometimes you don't need somebody telling you what to do. Sometimes you just need to watch and sometimes you need a different perspective. So maybe you try other people's tutorials if I didn't help. I hope I did, I really hope I did. But if I didn't, there'll be other tutorials in the description. Um, thank you guys for watching. This is the last video to Back to Basics for right now. Um, yeah. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe.